and home for the Giants. One of the most spectacular vistas on this continent, any continent. Downtown San Francisco in the background, and we zoom into Candlestick Park in the southeastern corner of this city for the first time in 27 years a World Series game will be played in Candlestick Park the Battle of the Bay continues game three of the 1989 World Series the Oakland Athletics against the San Francisco Giants I'm Al Michaels welcome to game three it's been dominant Oakland pitching of course in the first two games so Roger Craig has made some changes in the Giants lineup Ken Oberkfell the great pinch hitter will start at third base Matt Williams moves from th third base to shortstop Jose Uribe is on the bench Pat Sheridan takes over for Candy Maldonado in right field now the Giants of course are faced with a formidable task having to win four or five in essence to win the world title it has become less uncommon though in recent years for teams to overcome a two love deficit most recently it was done by the New York Mets in 1986 against the Boston Red Sox and it was done the year before as well in 1985 by Kansas City against St. Louis so the Giants tonight will be sending Don Robinson to the mound and for Oakland it will be Bob Welch and there's no designated hitter in effect in the National League Park let me turn now to Tim McCarver and you know Tim we talked in game one the final score was five nothing but there was a key early play involving Terry Kennedy dropping a throw from Will Clark at the plate we go back to game two the score was five to one but there were two key plays early in that one as well well you don't often think of key plays in a five to one ball game but let's go back to the top of the third inning Will Clark the batter the Giants have not had the lead in these two games a three two count a split finger fastball by Mike Moore pounced on by Terry Steinbach the Oakland catcher but look at the tough throw that he had to complete the play with Brett Butler running between him and Clark F flash forward to the bottom of the fourth inning Dave Parker barely by inches just misses a home run Candy Maldonado with the hesitation allowing Jose Canseco to score and he fails to get Dave Parker at second base so the Oakland A's take take This is Cheryl Jennings in the Channel 7 Newsroom. As you may have noticed, our power was knocked out just as some of the pre-game activities for the World Series was getting underway. That game is scheduled to start any moment now. Our power has been off for almost 15 minutes, and the reason, if you do not know by now, was a major earthquake, an earthquake which was felt from Oakland to Sacramento as far south as Los Angeles. We have reports of major power outages in San Francisco and reports throughout the Bay Area. There's also major damage in San Benito County south of San Jose. We do not have a Richter scale reading on that yet. The Office of Emergency Services is hoping to get us more information. Um, here in the Channel 7 newsroom, we felt uh, a jolt and we all shot an earthquake and then it hit and knocked our, us off the air. It knocked televisions off of the uh, stands here and all of a sudden people got very nervous and very scared. Now, Ana Chavez was out on the street and she said that people emptied out of the buildings traffic was trying to move in the downtown area and that traffic came to a complete stop when people started filling in the streets. Pete, Pete Wilson is out at Candlestick right now. Let's see if we can go to Pete Wilson live to see if there was anything felt out at the stick. Pete? Well, Cher Cheryl, obviously people are terribly nervous here. The power is off in Candlestick Park. This quake hit, as you have uh, told people, just shortly after 5 o'clock. 
it was very obvious very quickly. The building began to shake. Uh, Frank Crocker was up in the top deck of the building, and uh, it, it, it terrified people. Uh, there was yelling and screaming almost instantaneously. The cars here in the parking lot were rolling back and forth, literally bouncing on the ground as this lasted for several seconds. We have a number of reports. It's difficult for us to confirm these things. We are told that the uh, first street uh, on or off ramp has collapsed a couple of feet and that they're having difficulty there. As we've told you, power outage is all over. We've also heard of considerable damage inside the uh, Emporia Capwell building in downtown San Francisco. Uh, you've explained where the epicenter is. That is to the south in the San Benito County area. At least that's what they believe at this time. These folks quieted down very quickly, and they're obviously here to party tonight, but there is considerable concern because, as we know, a lot of the Giants fans are from the South Bay, and that seems to be the direction of the quake. So we've had quite a shake here, and from what, I've, from what we can feel here, at least one small aftershock that was at least detectable at, at this site. Cheryl? Okay, Peter, thank you very much. We're getting a lot of information. There are reports of some injuries, minor at this point, uh, water main leaking water mains leaking everywhere. Uh, we have a report of a person trapped in an elevator in Shelter Bay. A brick in Sausalito has hit a person on the head. The 911 system is down in some areas. Now the important thing to remember is check your gas mains. That is the first and most important thing you have to do in case of a gas leak. You don't want to run the risk of a fire. Ana Chavez has just come in. Ana, do you have some late information? Come we are here. just getting reports from our crews on the scene that there is a major fire that has erupted in Oakland, at least one we understand at this point, accounts coming in now, that the east portion of the Bay Bridge has been damaged. Again, Cheryl's advice is particularly important at this time because we now have evidence that, in fact, their fire has become a problem. I'm going to go back and check with the desk, okay. and I'll bring you any more information. Okay, thank you, Anna. Now, of course, if you have some problems, if you don't know exactly what to do about your gas mains or the water around your house, Grab your phone book. It's right there in the front because that will tell you exactly what to do before and during an earthquake. And of course, if you've got a battery powered radio, you want to get to that. Now, I believe that we are still running on generator power uh, here at KGO. If you felt the quake, if you didn't feel the quake, it happened at about five after five. It was a, a first a rolling jolt, and then here at Channel 7, it was such a sharp jolt that people here became terrified. When Anna was down in the street, she said people began laughing at first when they felt the first quake. And then she said people started screaming because it was so terrifying. Now I'm trying to... Okay, now we're just getting late information. Don Sanchez, come on in here. You've got some information. Bar, bar trains are stopped, I, I think, uh, and that has been quite some time, stopped in the tunnel. Uh, the other problem, of course, is, too, because of the, the, with the bridge, there is no traffic on the bridge. Now, I understand that we have a picture because we don't have any monitors here, do we? To, to no, see we have no way on. of seeing what we're showing uh, you. We are seeing the fire. In, uh, in Oakland. We can actually see it from the station. A lot of black smoke. Um, I would not be able to tell what, what it is at this point, and I don't think we know, but uh, this is obviously... Uh, it's, a large, it's a large building, I understand. Uh, I'm getting some word from the control room. Uh, we're seeing flames coming from the top of the building. So once again, late word. Phone okay. service went down. Power went down, Don. Uh, according to the OES, uh, the National Guard has now been put on alert. Uh, uh, so obviously, uh, some major damage, and obviously this is, I think, one of the strongest earthquakes that I've felt in the 18 years that I've lived here. And maybe, probably the strongest, so uh, we'll have to, uh, we're still waiting to find out. Uh, um, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting word from the control room now that the fire in Oakland is a major fire, a large fire, nearly half a block long. Um, again, we don't, we don't know what caused the fire we can suspect of course a number of things perhaps gas mains and that's the thing that you have to pay attention to you've got to check all those survival tips that we've been talking about over the past few years now they come into play you've got to have the extra water just in case you can't get out anywhere i'm getting late bulletins here hospitals on red alert hospitals everywhere on red alert all right and uh, there have been cracks uh, in buildings cracks uh, in the streets as well uh, two blocks from where we are and we're on landfill here so we may have felt this uh, shaking a bit more than other people would. But you have to understand, I guess that's why we went off the air. I guess you've explained that, uh, that uh, there has been a major earthquake in Northern California, felt as far away as, I think we had the original reports of Los Angeles. I just received a phone call from a member of my family in San Diego. They felt it there as well. Yeah, and I, of course, all of us were trying to jam the phone lines, calling our family members to find out if everyone is okay and if they, they made it home or if they're in-house, that something didn't fall on their heads. Because you also have to watch out for that if you're in an earthquake situation. 
a earthquake of this size that is going to produce aftershocks, maybe major aftershocks, so be sure that you get under something to protect your head. Anna, running in here, come on in. I just wanted to tell you our helicopter is on the way to the scene. Within a minute and a half, we'll have live pictures. Apparently, an east portion of the Bay Bridge has collapsed, and there are automobiles trapped. We'll keep you posted. Okay, I don't know if you heard what Anna was saying, but a major portion, this is very, very scary. As uh, apparently, I'm told, we have a live picture for you. We cannot see. We have no working monitors here at Channel 7. You're looking at, I understand, a live picture of the Bay Bridge. Is that correct? Just the Bay. Okay. We're on our way to the Bay Bridge. Apparently, a major portion of that has collapsed, and there may be cars trapped. We're not sure. We're going to get that information for you. Again, a major earthquake happened this afternoon at 5 of 5. We're experiencing an aftershock as I speak. I don't know if you can see the light swinging behind me, but that is one of probably many that we will experience, and I can't tell you enough. Please check your gas mains. Check your water. We do not want to have any more fires. We have a major fire working in Oakland. We showed you some pictures of that earlier. People felt it as far as Oakland, Sacramento, and Los Angeles. Pete Wilson was at a candlestick. As soon as we could get back on the air, we were off for about 15 minutes. Pete Wilson told you that the folks at Candlestick during the World Series experienced this very, very shaky, shaky situation. We're still waiting for a Richter scale reading from the Office of Emergency Services or the Berkeley Seismology Center. We still do not know how strong this was. The um, epicenter, as I understand it, was south of San Benito. Apparently, that is south of San Jose. Viacom went off the air. And, of course, we went off the air. We're running on generator power right now. Uh, I'm not getting any more word from the control room as to what is, is happening at this very moment. Okay, we have a chopper at the Bay Bridge right now. Are we seeing pictures? That is correct, yes. Okay, you're, we're showing you. We cannot see what I'm telling you about. I'm getting this information from my control room. So I understand that we are looking at a live picture of the damage to the Bay Bridge in the Bay Area. I, an entire section of the Bay Bridge has been lost. Very, very frightening situation. Uh, we understand that there have been cars trapped. I'm getting late bulletin. Don Sanchez, come well, in here. You can't see the pictures here because we, we're still trying to get the monitor back, but the upper deck, part of the upper deck, a section of the upper deck of the Bay Bridge uh, is probably what you're still looking at right now, has collapsed. So it, it has fallen down into the, the lower deck. Can you see deck. whether cars were on there? Uh, could not see, no. Or but whether I, any concrete had fallen on cars? Okay, people, people on the bridge, those who were left on the bridge, have been told to park, get out of their car, and go to Yerba Buena Island, walk to the island. Uh, and, of course, on either end of the, the bridge, for obvious reasons, the, uh, the traffic has been stopped. But, yes, okay. it has, there has been a section of it collapsed. That's the, what we were looking at. Okay, now, are we still looking at those pictures? We, I'm, I'm, I'm working blind right now, so I, I can hear my director. Yeah, go ahead, talk to me. Okay, yeah. apparently the Bay Bridge is just completely, totally damaged right in the center. Ana Chavez, come on in here. Basically, Cheryl, what they're telling us now, and these are early reports of what's going on now at the bridge. Uh, we understand that uh, a 50-foot section of the bridge near the cantilever portion on the east side has collapsed. At this point, there have been no reports to Caltrans of any injuries, but we do know because our crew is looking at that section of the bridge, there's some indication that perhaps cars were trapped under the collapse. Right now, they are trying to clear the bridge they're doing that by basically having people make a U-turn and get out of there. Ten minutes ago, that whole area was shut down to traffic. As I'm sure you can expect, that's going to be the case on major thoroughfares wherever there was that kind of collapsing damage. Cheryl, the reports keep coming in from our crews as well as the little bits coming in from the wires. Our people are working on the desk, contacting hospitals and local emergency service agencies. As we get more information, we'll keep you posted. Okay, Anna, thank you very much. Are we still on the picture of the Bay Bridge? Okay, you're looking... You're looking at the upper deck of the Bay Bridge. Apparently, as Anna just told you, a 50-foot section of the east side, I believe that's the upper portion of the Bay Bridge, has collapsed. There may be cars trapped underneath. Some of those cars that were trapped have been towed, apparently. And authorities are advising people to please, if you can, get off the bridge and drive to YBI and just park your car. Again, the important thing is if you are at home or if you can call of course, you don't want to jam the phone lines, but if you can somehow get word to your relatives, check your gas mains. That is the most important thing you can do right now. And to keep your head protected in case of falling objects. 
I want to remind you once again that the phone book, right in the front of the phone book, has some good emergency earthquake information available for you to help get you through this crisis. I understand that we have Lisa Stark standing by live. Cheryl, hello. We are a few blocks from Candlestick Park. We were here when the quake hit about 5 p.m. We do have some pictures we would like to show you now of what it looked like when the quake hit. You can see power lines are swaying. Uh, it was a very brief quake, but it was a very strong jolt. This is what happened here when the quake hit. Burglar alarms were set off. The power lines were swaying. As I said, power was cut off to this area. So was Fern's phone service. We're told now that some phone store service has been restored here. You can see people were screaming. You could definitely feel the quake. I was also just told by a police officer that there are some cracks in the upper rim of candlestick. Half inch cracks is what he is saying in the upper rim of candlestick. And they have also closed the over pass now on Jamestown in the candlestick. People here uh, had objects fall off their walls. We've been into a number of homes where uh, pictures and dolls and other things are littering the ground of the homes. And you can see that is what the scene looked like here as the earthquake hit. It was very brief, but it was a strong jolt. There was no question about what it was. And again, the power was off to this area. I have not been able to confirm it is if it is still off at this time. But again, there appear to have been some cracks in the upper rim of Candlestick Park. And that is the latest from down here uh, near the ballpark. Okay, Lisa, thank you very much. Let's go live now to Pete Wilson and Frank Crocker out at Candlestick. Pete, I don't know if you could hear Lisa, but she said there appear to be cracks at Candlestick Park. We have not been able to confirm that there are cracks up there. But that's a break occurred and uh, you might tell I can tell you, I was in the upper deck right behind home plate just out here to watch the ball game yeah. tonight. And when the first shake started to hit, there were several aircraft right above us and I immediately started to think it was vibration from the aircraft but then it really, really started to roll right. really started to punch and the the windows in the press boxes out in, in uh, along the left field line started to shake the lights went out right. people were relatively calm there I can tell you that there are cracks in the concrete up there right. I can't tell you if the cracks have been there if right. they're new cracks it's, it's impossible you, to tell at this point we should point that out that there are old cracks in the stadium it is an old stadium we don't know if uh, if there's been a major crack we have not seen that yet we've got people out we're trying to get other people situated in other areas in uh, in the Bay Area now because there's so many reports coming into us and they're all disparate. They're coming from the police and so on. We're hearing bit by bit from other television crews and we've got a number out ourselves. I will tell you that they have not cleared the stadium out yet. Some people are voluntarily getting out. They're very concerned about reports uh, from us and others that this happened in the South Bay. But it's, uh, it's it, I think, problematic right now. It they was, obviously can't go ahead with this game at this point. I don't know if they will. I've been through several uh, earthquakes in the last eight years, and this was very, very scary to be right. up there on that upper level, especially. It shook all over the place. Right. People were great, though. They didn't panic. They didn't run. Uh, the question is now, are they going to leave them in the ballpark? Right. Well, we're going to try to determine that as soon as we can. Giants management, we've been trying to get a hold of them. In fact, I've heard other uh, stations, radio and television, desperately trying to get a hold of them as well. But uh, we don't know if, uh, if they've made a decision. And if they do, they're going to have to be terribly careful about it because obviously we've had one major route uh, here cut off, at least at this point, mm -hmm. and that's the Bay Bridge. Yeah. It's, uh, so we'll throw it back to you. I wish we could tell you more than we can on these specifics, but uh, we are essentially trapped here at Candlestick, surrounded by the cars of 60,000 fans. I'm having a little difficulty hearing you. I just uh, got the monitor back. Okay, we have pictures on the air now. We have pictures of a fire in Berkeley. I'm told the location is Berkeley. This is an aerial view, a live picture. Uh, it looks like more than one fire in Berkeley right now. We don't know exactly what the location is or how bad the fire is or whether any people's lives are in jeopardy. But uh, there you have it. That is the Cypress section of the Nimitz Freeway. And you can see, oh my God, look at that. Um, the freeway has just completely collapsed. And it looks as though there are vehicles down there. The traffic, of course, is completely stopped. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty frightening. I certainly hope that nobody was injured in that, but uh, that's just one of the scariest things I've ever seen. And, of course, you heard that uh, we had some major damage to the Bay Bridge. We showed you live pictures of the Bay Bridge earlier. It is, I'm told the location is one mile from the toll plaza on the Bay Bridge, just before the superstructure. We're going to bring you some more. Okay, we're off of that live shot right now. I have some late details right now. Uh, Chope Hospital, apparently, and uh, San Mateo, Chope Hospital in San Mateo, many, many reports of cuts, injuries, and heart attacks, unfortunately. Children's Hospital in San Francisco, 
TV set has fallen on some children. There is apparently one injury. Okay, Ana Chavez is standing by at the other flash cam. Ana, go ahead. Well, for those of you who have been following our coverage, let me tell you what's going on right now. Communication systems are jammed, as you can imagine. Our people are working on the assignment desk to bring us the latest information, and that is why it's changing so very quickly. We've just received a report from a viewer who saw the scene that I-80 at 880 West has collapsed. Again, this is the kind of thing we expect to hear more about because everywhere that there was an overpass, that jolt may have done some damage. Also, for those of you who may just be tuning in, we have had a very major earthquake. It has been felt from Los Angeles all the way up north of us by many, many miles. Right now, we don't yet have an estimate of the Richter reading. If you take a look at this picture, you'll see the magnitude of this earthquake brought down a 50-foot section, the cantilever section of the Bay Bridge, uh, people for the bridge district told us they don't know uh, whether there have been any injuries. Uh, you look at those pictures, it looks like you can see evidence that perhaps there were. For anyone who has their mind on the World Series right now, our program director says, of course, we will be going to the game eventually, but because this is a major breaking story affecting most of Northern California and perhaps some of the South as well, we'll be bringing you the latest information and bringing you updates throughout the night. We are getting uh, reports uh, every minute of the extent, increasing uh, reports of damage within our own building here at Channel 7, which is a modern three-story building. Interior walls are cracked. Brickwork has been shattered. We've got evidence here that there was a major quake. Back to Cheryl. Anna, you mentioned that you were out on the street in the downtown area and you witnessed some pretty frightening scenes. Anna, are you still there? Okay, when Anna was uh, in the... Cheryl, I'm sorry, the audio is a little bit cluttered right now, but yes, I was walking on the street when the earthquake hit. I was walking down Battery close to Embarcadero. Uh, having been through the Mexico City earthquake, which was a long and rolling one, I know this one was very different. It was a sharp jolt. For a split second, it looked as if the asphalt in the street actually jerked in front of me. I watched a two-inch split open half the length of the block of Battery Street that I was on. Immediately afterwards, people came pouring into the street, running, some of them panicking. I stopped in the middle, put my hands up, and told, kind of waved off a bus driver and told him to stop. And quite a few people came out of their office buildings and the restaurants that are in that area, some people quite afraid, obviously, and waiting to see if there would be aftershocks. I felt two in the last hour. I don't know about you, but I think we're all a little bit aware that we can expect possibly more Earth movement. Back to you, Cheryl. Okay, Anna, thank you very much. Uh, we had a crew, a network crew, out in a uh, section of San Francisco, and I understand that we will have some videotape of that for you uh, in the Tenderloin. Is that tape ready? There we go. Okay, this is a section of San Francisco, San Francisco's Tenderloin District, and it looks as though there is some sort of smoke. I'm not quite sure what that means. In that area, these are people who are on the streets uh, right after that earthquake hit. It, the earthquake hit at 5 after 5. It, uh, the epicenter, I'm being told now, was in Hollister. Major, major damage was in the San Benito area uh, south of San Jose. We still do not have a Richter reading on that. We don't know. We do know that there are several injuries. We don't know the extent of those injuries. I have reports of cuts, scratches, some heart attacks in the San Mateo area uh, reported to uh, Chope Hospital. Heavy damage, I'm being told now, also in the Santa Clara area. Uh, in San Benito, of course, we told you that is where the major, major damage. Now, this earthquake was felt from Oakland, Sacramento, and down as far as Los Angeles. Uh, there is no BART service right now. I'm assuming that we don't have any muni service. Our power here at KGO was certainly <laughs> disrupted. If you were watching us, you know that we went off the air. And uh, right now, I think we're still running on battery power, uh, backup generator power. Ana Chavez is standing by right now with more. Ana. We just have a note in on BART and BART service. As you mentioned, BART service was interrupted. We know that all of the people who were in the tube and on the system have been evacuated, but the people at BART tell us that they cannot tell us whether there were any injuries because they are still assessing the situation. They're putting all kinds of inquiries on information on hold. PG&E says they are completely swamped. They won't even say if they're implementing an emergency plan. This word just in. Uh, of course, as Cheryl recommended a little earlier, if you've got gas outlets in your area, please take the time to turn them off until you get word that everything is safe. Again, uh, power outages all along San Francisco and uh, in San Leandro, those lines are down in the uh, BART 
transportation network. The entire area has been evacuated, and they are still assessing whether or not there were injuries or the extent of the damages. Here in the station, if you look around, things are really dark. We don't have our normal power or our normal means of communicating with the emergency agencies. And a lot of the television sets, frankly, fell off the walls where they're mounted and hit the floor. The amount of damage right now in our station, if it's any indication, we can expect that the damage reports will continue to flow in. Back to you, Cheryl. Okay, Anna, I've just gotten word that the preliminary Richter reading on this earthquake, the earthquake which apparently had an epicenter south of San Jose in the Hollister area, 6.5, 6.5 earthquake, enough to shake up everybody from Oakland, Sacramento to Los Angeles. Right now you're looking at a live picture. This is tape right now. This is a tape picture of the Bay Bridge. Major section, this is a mile from the toll plaza on the Bay Bridge, just before the superstructure, it has completely collapsed. Uh, we had reports that cars were trapped underneath it. We're, not, we're still trying to confirm that. We don't know whether anyone was injured or killed in that. It certainly looks like it could cause some great harm to people. If you are anywhere near that location, do not head to the Bay Bridge. It is closed. You must, if you're in the vicinity of YBI, head toward there. Get off the road right now. It's just not a safe place to be. Uh, also, the Cypress section of 880, completely gone. Earlier we showed you a live picture of that. It's a very dangerous time to be driving on the freeway. We have already felt, as Ana Chavez mentioned to you, two, two large aftershocks after that quake hit, which hit at 505, knocking KGO off the air. Many, many buildings lost power. Computers went out all throughout the Bay Area. We understand also that we also understand that a building at Turk and Fillmore is down. We showed you some pictures of San Francisco's Tenderloin District. A lot of commotion, certainly. A lot of people very frightened. We had heard reports that people, when the first, first uh, little roller hit, that they were kind of laughing, oh, it's another earthquake. We had so many of them here in the Bay Area that we kind of tossed them off. But this was a major quake, 6.5 preliminary reading. Again, it has been felt as far away as Sacramento, Oakland and Los Angeles. We do, we're feeling another aftershock as I'm sitting here. It's a, it's a very frightening situation. We've had reports of water main leaks, gas leaks, a major fire in Oakland. Here we go with another one. I don't know if you can see the camera shaking, but it's a long rolling one and it is continuing. This has gone on for 20 seconds now during this entire time that I've been speaking to you. BART has no trains in service right now. We had reports of BART trains tra trapped under the tube. We hope that's not true. BART is assessing the uh, damage on this line right now. We have some more tape that we want to show you. Yes, let's go to the tape right now. Okay, we do not have the tape. We do have the tape. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is Pier 23. I don't know if we can see it. We can see, oh, cracks in the street. You see evidence of uh, major, major cracks in the street outside the restaurant on Pier, uh, Pier 23 restaurant. Uh, these folks seem to be taking this in stride. They don't look too upset about it. But I tell you, if they were inside a building like this with lights and TVs falling on them, I think they would have been as shaken as we are. Okay, we have an update right now from Laura Marquez. All right, Laura. Well, Cheryl, we were just over at Pier 39, and there is a tremendous damage over there. Um, most of these stores, are, let me, I'm sorry, most of the stores there have been completely damaged. They have had um, one crystal shop. Everything, all of the, everything had fallen off the shelves. Uh, people that were in the stores, they went out, they had, a, they had to turn the gas leak off. You could smell the gas real heavily uh, within the, the Pier 39. They were evacuating people. Um, all of the stores had to close because almost all of them have lost most of their merchandise. Okay, Laura, thank you very much for that, that update. Of course, you know the gas fire, the risk of fire from a gas leak is the most important thing that you have to worry about right now. Um, Ana Chavez has a map right now that she wants to show you. Okay, I'm sorry, we're wrong. Let's go to Anna. Stand by for just one second. We're going to go to Leslie Brinkley first. Okay, let's take Leslie. Go ahead, Leslie. We're out here on the Bay Bridge. In fact, we were driving over the Bay Bridge when the earthquake struck. We understand from the Caltrans folks that the top portion, that 50-foot portion you saw before, did collapse onto the bottom of the Bay Bridge. We understand that two cars that were driving on the top also fell with that piece, but the people uh, escaped their cars uninjured. We are not certain right now as to the fate of the folks uh, that that portion fell onto. Some folks on the bottom level driving towards Oakland told us that they saw in their rearview mirror what looked like a garage door coming down and that they did see that portion of the bridge collapse onto several cars. We have no reports of injuries at this point. We have seen no ambulances go onto the bridge, uh, but we are still waiting for final word on that from Caltrans. 
Uh, all the folks we talked to, as well as ourselves, described this as an incredible uh, rolling motion. Uh, it felt as though uh, there were, was a major flat tire. We saw uh, crumblings from the bridge falling down all around us as we just barely got to this Oakland end of it. It was very, very frightening. Some folks said they uh, stopped their cars and felt like jumping in the water. It was a very harrowing, very uh, frightening experience. Uh, we also understand that at 880, some cars fell off the freeway there and that that road is also closed right now. Uh, it's really a disastrous situation here. There are huge cracks, sometimes with two and three inch gaps in the roadway and the freeway going on to the Bay Bridge here uh, on the Oakland side. In the distance, you see smoke from uh, a fire in Berkeley. Uh, we don't know any details on that right now, but across the horizon, we have seen several streams of smoke in different directions. Uh, there is the water main that goes from Oakland to San Francisco that we are told broke. Uh, there is water on one side of the freeway as you come over the bridge, and uh, we don't know the extent to which that is going to cause problems uh, on both sides of the bay. Uh, again, we do know that the bridge collapsed. There were two cars on top. Those folks escaped without injury, and we do not know what happened to those cars on the bottom level of the bridge when it did collapse a short while ago. Back to you folks. Leslie, I had a lot of information coming to me as you were speaking, so I did not get to ask you about the black smoke that was in the sky behind you during the camera's pan around. Do you know whether or not that's related to this? No, we don't right now. Details are sketchy. We're getting so many reports of so much damage in every direction that uh, we're giving you what we have as we get it. Okay. Did you feel the quake yourself? Yes, we did. As we drove in the car, as I said, it first of all felt like a very bad blowout, a flat tire. And then all three of us in the vehicle uh, noticed that there were pieces, crumblings coming from the top of the bridge. And one man described it as being in the twilight zone and just not having any, any sense of reality. It was all so bizarre, all so uh, frightening and scary. Uh, we had many different descriptions from people as they drove over. We were just about several hundred feet in front of uh, the cars that were trapped in that portion behind us, so we came very close to being in the middle of it there. Uh, again, the road is closed, the bridge is closed, uh, there's fear of an aftershock, and they're keeping cars off this entire stretch of roadway. Okay, Leslie, thank you very much. Ana Chavez, you've been standing by patiently with a map to help us pinpoint this. Go ahead, Ana. Well, Cheryl, for those people who are just tuning in now, we have preliminary Richter scale readings of 6.5, an earthquake epicentered in San Benito. If you look at the Bay Area, you can see what a tremendous shake that has been. It was felt actually all the way in the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles and as far north as we can, you can imagine, probably Sacramento or maybe even further up than that. A 6.5 earthquake is considered an earthquake that can cause major destruction. We've had shakers in the recent past around five or five and a half. Those are considered serious. A 6.5 is considered capable of causing catastrophe. A little bit earlier, we started to mention some of the sites where we know there were major damage. In addition to the, uh, the various routes that Cheryl mentioned, we have reports that a building at Turk and Fillmore collapsed and uh, evidence of buildings suffering a lot of destruction and people injured in the Tenderloin. We also have a new report on traffic, the north and southbound lanes near Candlestick from the Candlestick area on 101 are moving okay at this time. Uh, again, for those of you not familiar with all of the... Uh, the various geography involved San Benito County straight south from here but the quake epicentered there now a 6.5 felt all the way to Los Angeles back to you Cheryl okay Anna thank you very much we have more reports of damage at hospitals the very place that people are going to recuperate from the injuries they've received hospitals are now reporting around the Bay Area damaged windows and cracked walls the same type of damage that we have been uh, that we've been told about throughout San Francisco and major portions of the Bay Area. Of course, if you're just tuning in right now, we had a major earthquake, uh, 6.5 preliminary reading in San Benito area. That was apparently the uh, epicenter of that earthquake. Uh, of course, the World Series game that we were going to broadcast to you on Channel 7 has apparently been put on hold right now. We have a short interview with the Commissioner of Baseball, Faye Vincent. Let's go to the tape. Postponing the game because there is no power in the stadium. We would like you to leave in an orderly way. I don't believe there's any great danger, but we have no idea when the power is going to be on, and we have to get people out of here before it gets dark. So if you'll leave in an orderly way while there's still light, I think everybody can leave in a graceful fashion. Please leave. The game has been postponed. There'll be no baseball tonight. Thank you. 
Okay, we were just looking at the Commissioner of Baseball asking that fans apparently leave Candlestick Park in an orderly way. The game has been suspended. We don't know when. I don't have any information on when that game will resume. Earlier we told you there may have been reports of cracks at Candlestick. Apparently right now there are no reports of any structural damage, so that is good news. 62,000 fans out there to watch the A's and the Giants go at it tonight. Um, so it's going to be a mess getting all of those people out of there. Once again, the Bay Bridge is closed. A major section of the Bay Bridge has fallen. A 50-foot section broke off in the cantilever section. All right, and we Frank now Jordan. have the San Francisco Chief. Chief of Police, Frank Jordan, Down standing by. Justice Hello, Chief. We're continuing to get an estimate around the city of any kind of damage, and then we'll make a determination there. We seem to be having trouble with that. We were trying to bring you... Um, a live shot of apparently the chief of police involved in some type of emergency services activity. We will try to bring you that shot. We've got our crews running everywhere, of course, right now to bring you all of this information. I have a late report in right now that BART is not running. They are trying to see if there is a train stuck in the tube. Certainly if there is a train stuck in the tube, uh, those people are extremely frightened right now. Um, we don't know if there is any damage. Uh, we haven't heard of any damage to that. Uh, we had a report earlier, as I was mentioning, the Bay Bridge had a 50-foot section of it broke off. Um, Leslie Brinkley was telling you that there may have been two people on that section. They apparently escaped without injury. Fortunately, if you're heading anywhere near the Bay Bridge, please do not do that. We also have a report that the Cypress section of 880 is gone. We have live pictures of that for you uh, a little bit earlier. A major chunk of it just dropped right down. We don't know if anybody there was injured. Uh, we are still trying to get information coming in right now. KGO was knocked off the air at 5.05 completely. Our television monitors, everything went down. People were grabbing onto walls thinking, well, it's just another shaker. But then the shaking started in earnest and went on for at least 60 seconds, maybe more. And when we saw the ceiling tiles and the lights fall and hey, smelled the burning, on. your office is a mess. Then, <laughs> then we knew we were in trouble. Okay, now we have a live, we have a live shot of... Corte Madera in Marin County, the big uh, village shopping center there. Looks as though the shops there were evacuated. We've had reports of evacuations at Pier 39. George Lang, our cameraman, is out there. George, can you hear me? Can you give us an eyewitness uh, view of what's going on there right now? Yes, yeah, Cheryl, things uh, seem to be quieting down here. Most of the shopping center was evacuated uh, just after the quake. Things in Marin County do not seem to be as severe as other parts of the Bay Area. Uh, numerous fire hydrants uh, seem to be flooding the streets over here. Obviously, all the traffic lights are out. 911 in most of Marin County uh, has been a problem. Uh, they're working on that. The CHP is awfully busy uh, checking out all the overpasses. Third Street in San Rafael, the overpass that crosses 101, seems to have an, uh, quite a bit of damage. The fire trucks that you see here had a little problem getting here due to the fact that the firehouse door uh, seemed to be uh, affected by the quake and they had a problem getting out of there. Things in Marin seem to be a little better off than other places, Cheryl. Okay, George, you've certainly been through this before. Have you noticed an attitude change in people because this quake was so severe? Well, on a lighter side, a uh, gentleman from Macy's. Macy's seems to have it pretty much under control. They have a gentleman with a loudspeaker out here. Uh, who's been telling uh, folks what to do and where to go. The fire department's just coming out. Uh, the, there was smoke in the building. Uh, folks are, are kind of, uh, well, they're taking it kind of easy. Nobody seems to be really upset. And the man on the bullhorn came out and said, the Giants game has been canceled, and there was a loud cheer. Okay, George, I think that uh, you dropped out there. I'm getting instructions, uh, some directions here. Apparently, we do have that picture now of our police chief, the police chief of San Francisco, Frank Jordan, uh, attempting to coordinate emergency services. Do we have that tape right now? Okay. Chief Jordan, Chief Jordan, Chief Jordan, a few words. Do you know the extent of what's happened so far? No, not all I have at this point is I talked to our operations center. They say that there is a building with partial damage at 6th and Brannan. There's also a building with uh, partial collapse around Turk and Fillmore, and that there is some structural damage to the Hall of Justice. I'm going to be leaving the ballpark now to go down to the Hall of Justice while they're continuing to get an estimate around the city of any kind of damage, and then we'll make a determination there. Okay. 
Uh, late word right now from the UC Berkeley Seismology Center that that quake uh, was 6.5 to 7. 6.5 to 7 on the Richter scale. That's according to UC Berkeley Seismology Center. And apparently the epicenter is 10 miles north of Santa Cruz. So, you know, our phone service went out just a little while ago uh, during that earthquake, which happened at 5.05. So we have not been able to be in touch with all of you who have been normally so gracious to call in and let us know what is going on in your area. I imagine that if our service is out, yours is probably out too. Once again, I want to remind you that the National Guard is on alert, according to the Office of Emergency Services. Certainly the hospitals are on alert, but they're having a heck of a time too because they have the same kind of damage at the hospitals that most of the major buildings which incur damage around the Bay Area are also suffering. The San Mateo Bridge, I've just been told, is closed in both directions. That is being inspected for damage. I don't have any word on the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, but that is coming. So once again, the San Mateo Bridge is closed in both directions. It is being inspected for damage. We had a major portion of the Cypress section of 880 gone, completely collapsed. The Bay Bridge, frightening situation. The pictures we showed you earlier, well, just take your breath away. They're so scary. 50-foot section of the Bay Bridge broke off the cantilever section. Top of the incline just fell right into the water. I don't know if we have Bay Leslie bridge. Brinkley. Bridge. We have a shot of a bridge. We do not have a shot of the bridge. Okay, Bay let's bridge. go back to the Bay, Bay bridge. bridge. Okay, here once again is a picture of the Bay, Bay Bridge in aerial view. You can see the top portion. It's gone. I mean, it is, <laughs> it is just not there. They are advising people, authorities are telling people, if you're heading anywhere near the Bay Bridge, please get off the freeway. Don't go near the Bay Bridge. I mean, you can't get around. If you've got 880 down, the Bay Bridge is down. San Mateo Bridge is closed. I understand Willow is standing by live right now by telephone at UC Berkeley Seismology Center. Willie? Go ahead, Willie. Willie, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, Cheryl. Okay, go ahead. You're on the air. We're here at the UC Berkeley Seismology Station where they reported the strong earthquake at exactly 5.04 p.m. I guess you've already mentioned that. They have determined that the epicenter was exactly 10 miles northeast of Santa Cruz, 20 miles south of San Jose. It registered at least 6.5 on the Richter scale. That's at least 6.5. They're having trouble getting exact measurements because their equipment went off the scale. There was at least one report of a minor aftershock, uh, as far as they know here. They don't have any other details at this point. That's what we know at this point, 6.5 at least on the Richter scale, 10 miles northeast of Santa Cruz, 20 miles south of San Jose. Willie, were you in a position where you felt the quake as well? Yes, absolutely. I was uh, in a residence in, in El Cerrito on the second floor, and I uh, felt quite a jolt. It was uh, actually not a jolt so much as a rocking, rolling motion, and it uh, lasted for... Uh, several seconds. Uh, I'm not quite sure uh, that I determined when it started, but it, uh, it was quite noticeable. And there were people all along the streets uh, getting from there to the UC Berkeley Seismology Center who were also uh, feeling the effects of that and uh, in the streets with their children and their dogs and everything else, trying to find out what was going on. Okay, Willie, thank you very much for that live report. Now, I'm getting late word that you can, you can, if you have to drive, you can get from Fremont to Menlo Park, I understand. Is that correct? Fremont to Menlo Park. The Dumbarton Bridge is apparently open. Um, the San Mateo Bridge is closed. It's being inspected for damage right now. The Bay Bridge, you just saw those, those frightening pictures of the Bay Bridge, a major 50-foot section of the Bay Bridge completely broken off. We're looking at pictures right now of the San Francisco's Tenderloin District. Frank Jordan, San Francisco's police chief, trying to uh, coordinate the uh, emergency services for the city. He mentioned that uh, buildings were down at uh, 6 and Brannon. We had an unconfirmed report of a building down at uh, California and Front Street. All of this information is coming to us uh, very fast and furious, so please forgive us if we're not entirely accurate. We just want to at least keep you updated on what is going on around the Bay Area. We have shown you a number of fires. We have a report of a Berkeley fire in a garage and a tow lot of cars at 2000 Durant. Apparently that fire is contained and there are no injuries reported. Uh, that was, I think we showed you those pictures earlier today. Once again, the earthquake was uh, 6.5 to 7, according to Willie Monroe, who is over at the UC Berkeley Seismology Center. The epicenter apparently 10 miles northeast of Santa Cruz. And I understand Tony Russomano is standing by? Oakland fire. Oakland fire. Okay, here is one of those fires we were telling you about. This one is in Oakland, as you can That's see. And uh, this is apparently the Nimitz Freeway. 
Ana Chavez is standing by with more information. Ana? Cheryl, earlier you mentioned that people should remember to turn off their gas. In fact, that is now an urgent bulletin in Marin County. We're receiving reports of uh, widespread reports in Marin County of people smelling gas. The fire you're looking at may be related to that. We're not sure. But we do know that after every earthquake, that can be the greatest danger to life and safety. So once again, an urgent warning from Marin. It should apply throughout the Bay Area. Please shut off the gas lines on your property or in your building because uh, if you smell gas, there's a possibility that, that could be a very dangerous leak for you and your neighbors. And in Marin, apparently quite a few people are smelling gas. That bulletin comes to us from the people in the utilities companies. Oh, we now are... Okay, we're having some technical problems. We're going to get back out to Candlestick for a report from Pete Wilson just as soon as we can, but now back to Cheryl. Okay, Anna, you were mentioning about the urgency of shutting off those gas mains. If you're frightened about that, you don't know what to do, very simple way to deal with this. Go to the front of your phone book. There are some very helpful tips about the earthquake before and during, things that you can do right now to protect yourself and your families. Um, do we have that live shot from Pete Wilson? No. Okay, we do not. No All right, we're having a little bit of technical problems with the audio portion. If you have just tuned in, we had a major earthquake, 6.5 to 7 on the Richter scale. Willie Monroe told you from the UC Seismology Center in Berkeley that uh, their equipment went off the scale. We have had at least two or three aftershocks that we felt here in the Channel 7 newsroom. There again, this appears to be the fire in Oakland that we've been telling you about near the, on the Nimitz Freeway. I don't know what the cause of that fire is, but uh, you can see it certainly stopped everything in that area. We have reports of scratches and cuts, one heart attack in the San Mateo area as far as injuries go throughout the Bay Area. And we now have Pete Wilson standing by live at Candlestick. Pete, go ahead. Uh, Cheryl, uh, this is an extraordinary scene out here. Uh, I'll tell you, first of all, uh, that I can hear you clearly if you need to ask any questions. We've had ambulances leaving right now, our cameras panning over to that. There have been injuries in the stadium. You're hearing cheering in the background. Obviously, some people, this stadium was full when this, uh, when this earthquake occurred here. At first, it frightened people. Then this, this kind of calm. Everyone is standing. There are probably, oh, 10 to 12,000 people still in the stadium. And police have just asked that the field and the stadium be cleared. Power has just been restored. It is partial power, but it has just come on as I've been talking to you here. The, the, they obviously are very concerned about getting the stadium cleared because there were reports earlier now confirmed that there has been structural damage, that is to the lip, uh, the top section uh, of the stadium in various areas. Now, we specifically can only see separations. We can't see anything more than that. It doesn't appear that anything has dropped, but merely that there are cracks in the stadium. Of course, there are a lot of officials from San Francisco and the Bay Area that were out here at the time that this all occurred. You've already heard from Chief Jordan. And so they had some sense of, of how to deal with things at the stadium itself. But they have not, until just the last five minutes, decided to empty the stadium and officially cancel the game for the night. So that has been canceled. So I will tell you again, there have been injuries at the stadium. We do not know how severe. We don't know if they're just injuries or people with heart difficulties and so on uh, because of the fright. We know that there is structural damage out here, and we know that there are at least 15 to 20,000 people still in the stadium proper, and probably another 20 in that parking lot who have not been able to leave, and though they don't know it yet, they may be in for a long wait. Cheryl? We have some conflicting information about the structural damage at uh, Candlestick Park. We get, the word that we get is that there is none, but apparently you have seen some cracks. Yes, well, that's, this is what we're getting from reports, and the police have told us that they have some structural cracks. Now, the confusion may come in whether or not these are simply old cracks that have separated slightly because of this roll. Uh, again, I will tell you that the, the police I talked to said that there were structural pe uh, bits of damage. But again, whether to concentrate on that at this point when there's so obviously other damage and fires and so on in the Bay Area is probably moot. It appears to be safe now, though each time there's been an aftershock, we have felt it here, especially in the upper decks. And yet, if you pan around again, Scott, you, you can see that there are still people sitting in these upper decks, which is, uh, you'll excuse me, but foolhardy to say the least. Uh, and yet they are still there uh, as the police try to get this place cleared. Uh, it is an eerie uh, feeling out here for all sorts of reasons. As you know, an earthquake will stay with you for a, a length of time after it happens. Again, this was shortly after 5 o'clock. We were in the parking lot. The roll here was very severe, uh, especially in the stadium itself. We've heard all sorts of folks uh, trying to describe that, and you can hear once again in the background as the police try to clear the stadium. They're very aware that as the sun begins to set, uh, they could have some difficulties here if they don't get everybody out.
Okay, Pete, uh, can you still hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, earlier, you described what it was like for the fans in the stand. What were your personal feelings as you were going through this? I know for me it was terrifying.